T quilts and I'm here to do mail call today I may add on to this video or this could just be it I got notified to go to the post office today so I went to the post office to pick up this gift and it's from Bonita Nan so thank you so much for contacting me I have to tell you a story first because I went to the post office drove my husband's car and forgot that I didn't even have the P.O. box key. My daughter is actually using my car for a couple of days. So I thank you for sending the package. So she sent it priority mail. And inside she has a card and a package. So let's start with the card. And I'm assuming it has something to do with Mother's Day since she sent it and said it was time sensitive. So she says, let me tell you about this woman I know. She's a loving mom who works hard to make sure her family feels happy and cared for. She's a thoughtful friend who's there whenever, wherever, whatever. She's wise and witty and also easy to love. So this is the front of the card. And it's a Hallmark card. Thank you so much. Inside it says, it shouldn't come as any surprise. This wonderful woman I know is you. Enjoy this day because you deserve it. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you, Bonita. Thank you so much for thinking about me. So it's a weird shape box. I have to admit, inside of the bag I thought it might be some pre-cut triangles so I will see I am so wrong though but this is the box and then let's open it up so it has some tissue paper and then has just a little something to show my appreciation. Bonita, we Ginger girl, girls have to stick together. Oh, my goodness. I've got some other stuff in here. Says, hello, Miss T. Thank you for taking the opportunity. Wherever Ace that has fabric sales, I would like for you to take what's inside the envelope, one half for you, one half for me, to the sale. I like all those fabrics like you showed in your fabric hauls video. And then she has her address on the back side. And then she has <laughs> little fabric scraps on the envelope. That is just too cute. And then another note. <laughs> she says, hello, Miss T. I hope you are well. I have an opportunity for you, but there are strings attached. And so that's this here. <laughs> if you choose to take advantage of the opportunity, please find a small envelope with the strings attached. Thanks so much, Benita. So that's pretty cool. I'll open that later off camera. So this is what's in the box here. And... Oh my goodness, it's some Spring Action Knife Edge Thread Nippers by Ginger. And then on the back it says, Ginger is recognized as the premier line of cutting implements and sewing, crafting, and needlework. Thread nippers are perfect for snipping threads, heavier yarns, and thick layers of fabric. A Spring Action design opens the blades after each cut, reducing hand fatigue. Precision Ground Knife Edge blades or specialized handle design work with your index finger underneath the snip thumb on top and middle finger through the loop to stabilize the snippers while you cut a double plate chrome over nickel blade finish is both striking and doable and then they have the use and care for it Ooh, it's got tape on here 
So this is pretty cool. I do not have these, so I am so excited to try these. And Miss Bonita knows that I like gingers because on my top 10 things, I talked about the ginger thread snippers here that I have. So I am very interested in trying these. Sometimes I lose those in my project, so I'll take them to another room. And so it would be awesome to have a second pair of snippers. So I want to get it open now. So it's got like a little safety shield on it. So I'm just going to press it to slide this off. So middle finger is through the loop to stabilize the snippers while you cut. So this is actually how you use the snippers. Since I've never seen these, I didn't even know they had these. So this is pretty interesting. And I should have known because if I had looked at it, it has the ginger face side up over here, which is going to probably be hard to see on camera. But it's much more stabilized this way so bonita i really really appreciate this very generous gift again um i appreciate you watching and subscribing and if this is the end of the video i just want to thank you for watching and i will see everyone next time bye bye hi it's t and i'm back because i received some other items in the mail so i am breaking up this video it will be in two settings i actually received from Viter Energy, some winter green flavor dietary supplements. It boosts energy and refreshes breath. And this is the actual product here. Okay. And one of the things that I did notice with this product is that it is, it does have caffeine in it. And I do not do caffeine. I'm on very limited amounts of caffeine that might be in milk chocolate, but I don't drink caffeinated drink so I will have my daughter do a review of that in case you all are interested this bottle actually costs four dollars and 99 cents so if I do this review I will see also if they would be willing to give a discount code as well and then also I received an envelope in the mail it's a nice letter from Miss L. Young, and I'm not sure how to say your first name, so I am not going to mess it up. And I will just read what she says. Stated April 30th, 2018. She says, from a T Quilts fan and your small gill. Dear T, I recently subscribed to Benetex Fat Quarterly due to following your channel on YouTube. Thanks. By the way, because I really cannot afford the Quilty Box on monthly samples that are the Crave right now. For $24.95 or $40, which is what I opted for, the two-year subscription. Anyway, they also have something called a Fossil Fern Fabric Club or the Cotton Club at $175 for one year. A pretty good deal for $14.58 cents a month i know you are a fan of fossil ferns anyhow i love your channel your tutorials and chats the sew alongs are just wonderful i'm so glad you're retired now you have time to come out with your own fabric collection <laughs> thanks a lot for what you do l young p.s keep the quilt shells coming it's just like I'm there. I am thinking of starting a gill. Any advice? And she says, I'm still waiting for you and your block of the month club. Because of your style, I think it would be awesome. The next package will be what the Quilting Marine calls Happy Mail. Then later Gator and then L Young from the Sewing Shed. So, first of all, thank you for writing me. I appreciate you writing. And I just love to be helpful, if I can, with other quilters. And in response to your my advice on starting a quilt gill, is I will first make sure that there is interest in a quilt gill in your area. Or check to see where the quilt gills are in your area. 
because you need to figure out how you're going to attract your target audience and so you don't want to start something and not have any idea if you're going to have any people show up at all so I think you need to have some following either on Facebook Twitter Instagram YouTube of some sort where you know you got contact with quite a few quilters because not everyone is going to make it not everyone is going to be in the same location that you're planning to have your first guild meeting so first I would check to see if there isn't a target audience for that also I would try to get some help from quilters that way you're also getting commitment right out the gate you're going to need somebody that can handle newsletters can help you with registration of new members you need somebody that's going to run the group be it a president vice president you don't have to get all of those positions filled but if you have some people that are willing to help you doing this process then they are going to be members as well so you've also got those warm bodies that you know for sure will show up let's see what else for quilt gill um location where are you going to meet if you're talking about charging a yearly membership fee you're not supposed to charge for any meetings that you hold in the public libraries although you can rent those for free or near free most of them charge like $25 or nothing to hold meetings there. It just depends on where you're located. So you need to make sure that you have a location where it's okay for you to accept money from people because not only will you be needing to collect membership dues, you're also going to be collecting for other things as they come along. So yeah, think about your location and then think about your location in relation to your target audience as to whether they're going to a be willing to transport to that location so some people don't want to drive at night so they don't want to go very far if it's a nighttime guild meeting and then some people will travel and it doesn't matter where it is if it's something that they're interested in so develop your goals for the guild uh, figure out what is your main purpose and just go from there and you can always add on when you start getting other people you all can start having committee meetings and you can decide what it is that you want to do with your gill so that's my advice for right now if you get started and you have some questions in particular on a particular topic then i'll be more than willing to come along and help you with that as well I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all for watching. Please share my channel with your other quilting friends or any groups that will allow you to share YouTube videos with other members of that group. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, bye-bye.